Hi guys, welcome to my sewing channel. Today I'm going to show you some Easter sewing projects that should get you excited to sew for spring. And if anything, hopefully it'll just inspire you to make your own spring sewing projects. But look at how cute. I can't wait to show you. These right here are so cute. This one is an Easter sewing pattern. So we will go over this project as well. You also wanna get your Easter candy ready. I I have my robin eggs because we are going to fill this cute little Easter mesh bag with candy. Um, oh, but you probably want to know how to make this one. So let's get started with this project first. You will need three by four and a half inches of netting, three by four and a half inch of fabric, two pieces, seven by four and a half inch of fabric, two pieces. You will then sandwich the netting in between two pieces of your fabric, then sew it down and repeat it on the opposite end. And I apologize, I had difficulties and that's why, why the video had skipped ahead. But after you've got those sewn down, you're going to top stitch on each end and then you will fold in the raw edges just like this and you're going to do that to both ends and just do a quick top stitch to hide those raw edges. This is going to be the back of our bag. So I'm just going to take my ribbon and place it in the middle and tack it down. And then I'm folding it in so it's on the inside of the bag because we are going to turn it right sides out. So now I'm just going to sew down both sides and make sure I get that ribbon out of the way so it doesn't catch into the stitches. I'm just gonna sew down both sides and then you can use pinking shears or you can serge it. I just use pinking shears to get rid of those raw edges. And then I will turn it right sides out and then I like to use a tiny little needle to poke out these corners. So get that to work. And then the fun part is we're going to um, fill it with our favorite treats. I also have another netted bag that I did and it actually has the bunny ears, but this one is just really cute and simple. So I'll just go ahead and tie it in a little knot. And there you have your cute little candy bag. I have another simple project to do. Is you start with a piece of fabric that is, let me measure it right here. It's 19 inches in length and the width is nine inches. So you just have one piece of fabric right here. I embroidered a cute little bunny on mine and all we're gonna do is fold it in half. This is one of those quick Easter uh, bags. We're gonna sew it in half and we're going to sew down a fourth of an inch seam allowance on both sides. Okay, and then you can use pinking shears to cut the raw edge or you can serge them. And then we are going to fold it twice. So we don't need to add the casing. We're gonna fold it twice and sew that down. I will be right back. I think I'm going to just serge mine. Also, if you are liking this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Okay, so I surged the sides and I folded the in. I folded the top in a half inch and then another half inch. And now we are going to sew that down.
Okay, so that is sewn down. Let me clip these. Turn it right sides out. We're gonna sew down the bow here in the back and then we have our cute little bag. I'm just gonna sew this one down. Just kind of guide it like this. I didn't have bigger ribbon, so I'm just gonna tack this one down right here. And I go down about an inch, let's see. So I got my ribbon in place and then we are ready to tie it up. So now you can just fill it with candy. I'll just put this in here for now. <laughs> and I like to use a few different ribbons. You guys, this is so cute, but so simple. When you don't add that casing, you just get the project done in no time. It's a night and day difference when you don't have to spend a lot of time on your projects. So look at how cute that turned out. So let's move on to this other project that I have here. I'm going to show you how to make these really cute cake pops. You can find the template on simplydelilah.etsy.com and I will also put the link in the descriptions tab below. And I'm going to take you into the other room where all of my supplies are and we're going to get started on that. Normally I would try to find a free template for you, but I couldn't find one with the vision that I had in mind. So I designed this one myself and I uploaded it to my Etsy shop. I took my template and I traced it on this cardstock. You're also going to want to pick up some dowels from the craft store and I have my pinking shears and also the fabric is two 8 by 11 pieces. Now I'm just going to trace it onto my fabric and I'm not going to cut it out yet and then we will cut it out afterwards. So I've got both fabrics with the pretty side down and I'm just going to sew right on that traced line. And then I'll take my pinking shears and I'm going to cut about a fourth of an inch from that sewn line. And then uh, after that, I'm going to go through and clip the corners. I also like to add fray check into the corners. You probably don't need to do it, but it's one of my favorite supplies that I always have on hand and so yeah right now I'm just making sure that I cut the corners and then I'm going to um, f f turn it inside out or right sides out and that part can be tricky. I've heard of some really neat tools that will make this a lot more simpler but I guess I also kind of like the struggle. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and turn these right sides out. It's going pretty good so far. And then I will fill them with some stuffing, which I forgot to mention at the beginning. But it's funny because the stuffing that I use is actually just from an old pillow that I don't even use anymore. So let me hurry and get this out. I like to kind of coax the corners with a tiny little needle and get those poking out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna iron it so you can go get your glue gun and some stuffing and when I come back, we will stuff it.
I forgot to mention, grab your ribbon as well. And the stuffing that I'm using is nothing fancy. It's actually from an old throw pillow that I had. So I don't throw those out. I can actually reuse the stuffing. So I'm just going to put it in here. It's kind of tricky because there's this small opening here at the bottom and you're just gonna work your way. I actually use this thing. It's called the purple thing and try to wedge all the stuffing in there. This is probably the most time consuming part. You can also plug in your hot glue gun so that is warming up while you do this. I'm just gonna fast forward the video so we can get to the exciting part. Now you'll just take one of the dowels and you're going to shove it up in there. Although I hate using the word shove, it sounds too aggressive. You're just gonna kind of maneuver that in there to try to get some room for it. And then you'll want to cover it with the hot glue and then place it back up in there. And I'm having the stick touch all the way up to the top uh, where the center of the ears start. And now I'm just kind of shaping it and making it look pretty with that stick up in there. And then I'm going to tie the bottom piece with some ribbon. And I like to layer my ribbons. It gives it like a scrappy ribbon look. So I always use this jute. And then I've got some purple ribbon. And I just pick this up from Hobby Lobby. Tie that around there and kind of get it positioned up there really firm. And then we are done. Look at how cute these turned out. I love them. They remind me of cake pops. Like, I kind of want to eat them. They're so cute. And there's lots of different things that you can do with them. I like putting them in a vase just on my table right here. I even stuck them in a flower box above my cabinets, or you can even put them on your kitchen table. You can put them in with a treat bag, just whatever you like. I even have them right here in this pretty vase, and I just think that it's a cute addition to make your home feel like spring. Okay, so let me know what you think of these. I think that they are so cute. Okay, moving on. So the next project that we have here is this really cute Easter banner. And if you are interested and wanna make this one, then go ahead and click right over there and I will meet you in that video. So until next time, happy sewing and happy Easter. Bye guys.